if you have structures and you, and you put these things that are fitted in place to an extent you will do this flawlessly and everybody will be like how, how do you get it done how do you make it look so easy baby you don't know what you do to me between me and you i feel a chemistry i won't let no one hi guys welcome welcome back to another sit down video if you're a new subscriber and you're just seeing my face for the first time hi my name is aisha and i am a youtuber based in abuja nigeria welcome 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 please click the subscribe button like share and all of those good stuffs okay because i'm here for you guys so today we'll be talking about a topic that is very dear to my heart balancing the role of motherhood and content creation as a mom of three and a content creator it's very very difficult to find that balance because you know i'm always saying there is no balance because if one part of your life which is for me being a mom is getting all the attention then definitely the other side of me which is a content creator will suffer or when i give all my attention to that part of me that is a content creator that part of me of being a mom is going to suffer but i have actually tried to like not not balance in this way but the difference will not be that much even if there is a difference, there won't be much. It's maybe just a bit. Okay, so I just wanted to share with you guys the things that I do that has helped me in my journey as a content creator and also as a mom of three living in Nigeria. So if it's something you want to watch, please keep on watching this video. The most important point is to prioritize and schedule. Yes, you have to prioritize and schedule. You have to, if this week you know that you have deadlines as a content creator, you know that probably, don't let me say this week, maybe in your like as a content creator we know the week that will be busy let's say next week i have brand jobs lined up i have to shoot for brand i have jobs that are time constraints not the one that i just post for posting sake on instagram or on youtube like things that actually have to be done and done at that time because you are a mom you cannot just be working on vibes you have to plan yourself and that is when scheduling and prioritizing work like if i know my next week will be busy now and i know that probably i will not really have time this week is the week that i will try and meal prep for the house this week is the week that i will try and do anything that needs me to be like that i can do in advance for my children that maybe someone else cannot do it has to be me in my own case that's probably taking care of um maybe i need maybe i need to stock up the house and i know i can't leave it till next week even though maybe i would normally stock up the house like end of the month and i know that next week that's end of the month i'll be very busy i'll do it this week so that that way i am not too busy or too really worn out that's the, that's the essence like the reason why you do that is so that as a mom you are not worn out and you can actually deliver both on being a mom and being a content creator just imagine i know i'll be busy next week and i've made all the soups that my children need for next week i've made stew can even cook jollof fries in bulk or cook fried rice in bulk things that they can actually just bring out of the of the freezer and microwave and they are good so that way you schedule you prioritize you know that this week will, because i will be busy next week for content creation let me at least give a bit of time to my children this week let me try and bond with them this week and for me if you have older children um, my daughter is almost eight i have a six-year-old and a four-year-old they understand me now if i tell them something they can understand what i am trying to say so most times like that, i tell them i'll be so busy next week i have a shoot next week i have to be here next week next week is a very busy week for me i tell them in advance so that they know that even if i'm trying to spend a lot of time with them they their mind is already like they know that this woman next week will not see a break light delegating and outsourcing you have to delegate and outsource delegate means no who is doing what sincerely even if you're not a content creator you're just a mom you actually need to delegate and outsource so that you are not too choked up with work so now imagine being a content creator on top of that family is everything if you have family around you have someone that can help that's fine and you can actually get like nannies living the ones that will come in or things like that just outsource and delegate so that the workload is not too much for you to bear that way you know that even when you are not available for your children there's someone you trust that can actually take care of them in your absence which is like the best thing any mom can ask for someone you can trust with your most prized possessions because i always tell people that work with me that i'm not concerned about my house House. i'm not concerned about my bag i'm not concerned about you eating my food anyhow i've left you with my most prized possession which are my children i should be able to trust you with my children like, for you to be able to balance to an extent you need to delegate and outsource i think that is like self-explanatory you know for everybody to know that you should delegate and outsource if you have family members around could even be probably this week you are busy if they if they have an auntie that you trust that is around you you can go and drop your children there batch 
create content batch work you have to batch create content you have to like today now is my filming day today is a monday and most times my filming day is either on monday or on, or on wednesdays sincerely because monday i want to start off the week ah i'm busy you know that kind of thing like start off the week with a serious mindset and that way you will batch create create content that probably you cannot do on the go sincerely you guys i really struggle with this and that's because i am an overthinker if i have content already made and at the end of the day trust me guys most times i don't use them because i've seen them like they are they are just there and i've watched them over and over again i start seeing faults i start seeing mistakes but i'm really trying to just put out content just put out content so far you know you are putting the work and you do not do mediocre work and it is just your mind playing tricks on you and being an overthinker just do it batch create that is the best thing that can happen to any content creator either you're a mom or you are not you are not even a mom you are just a content creator when you batch create you have things down as i am speaking to you guys now i have videos on my youtube studio already for this week and next week I, and that is just me being very intentional that this month i want to even see the difference this july let me see how this youtube is going to work okay so you have to batch create batch create content i cannot say that enough batch create content do if you are the type that post on social like more than one social media platforms like me you can even repurpose your video yes you can do that as i am filming this on my camera now there's a way i will resize it back for you to, for instagram edit it to instagram uh, size sometimes it will even help people that watch maybe the snippets that i put on instagram they will go back to your youtube and watch the full video because they watch the snippets on your instagram so that really helps to just batch create guys batch creating is the best thing that you can do to yourself as a content creator and as a mom that is busy that you are trying to balance being a mom and a content creator quality over quantity like i said i said batch create does not mean you should now do a lot of video and be worn out even if you know that as a mom and you're a content creator and you cannot do everyday posting on instagram which is fair or everyday posting on youtube it could just be your two videos and batch creating is now you know that okay today is monday and even if it's two videos you can do that's still batch creating because that video you are doing is not that you are putting out you, you are putting that video out today you are creating it in advance for when you want to post it so it is almost the same thing but please quality over quantity don't just be turning out content and things that i'm sure I'm putting out something no quality and if you put out quality you can even get away with posting twice or three times on instagram or even two two times like i do two times a week on youtube okay so quality over quantity that way you are not worn out and you are not bringing out rubbish because when you are doing quality over quantity it is better for you quantity over quality doesn't work because when you keep bringing out rubbish you see i'm putting in the work i batch create i did one million videos but it's not doing well because you did not put into consideration that you should put out quality and not quantity self-care and boundaries yes being a content creator and is an imam is a lot of work self-care and boundaries set boundaries for yourself self-care in the sense that take out time you recharge you take breaks yes we need to take breaks the way you now take your break it depends on you some people will go offline totally and not just put out anything even though by the time you come back you might regret it because these algorithms the way they work but some people it will be them taking break from posting what they will usually post like for me now i do more of cooking videos on instagram and i have been on break for like almost two weeks now guys and when you check my instagram you will not think i am on break because i have been putting out content but i'm not doing cooking video because it is tasking to do cooking videos i am doing mostly the ones that are easier to make to do or maybe from clips of something i've done i'll just repurpose it and do things like that that is me taking my own break and when i'm back you will know that i'm back because i'll keep posting my cooking videos at least two or three cooking videos in a week on my instagram page so the way you take your break it is very it differs self-care is very very important whichever way you want to do your self-care could be whatever whatever sincerely self-care and boundaries boundaries in the sense that you know that from 10 o'clock i am going to sleep because i will wake up by 5 30 to prepare my children for school i am not creating content anytime after 10 p.m because i have to sleep early to take my kids to school in the morning and during the day on mondays i know that i am not going anywhere unless it is a job i cannot push the day that is the day i create content create boundaries and stand on it if you stand on your boundaries you stand on your structure you will not be feeling like the whole world is on your chest you will you guys it is just very important that you have boundaries and you do self-care self-care you could take a break 
that self-care as well. You decide to take yourself to the spa, that self-care as well. But boundaries and self-care is very, very important. Involve your kids. Yes, it's not everybody that supports this. In fact, sometimes I am against this. But when the children, they see that, because for my kids, there are sometimes I have to shoot content and they are in the house, especially when I'm cooking. Because sincerely, you guys, I don't do cooking videos unless I'm actually cooking for my family. So most of my cooking videos are the food that they eat. So most times they are at home when I'm doing it. And imagine you are filming and you have kids. Is it that you are going to tie them in the room or something? Sometimes just involve your children. Show them probably helping you out. But it should not be too much because sincerely, I don't really like the idea of bringing children too much to the camera which i know i am i am guilty of sometimes but it might look like that but i'm very very conscious to not put them in the camera sometimes but involve them so they know oh okay this is what mom is doing and sometimes it's educational for them as well they just enjoy it and that way they explore and that way they don't even throw, throw tantrums when you're you like please can you guys stay in your room because i want to film because they know that if it's something that you can include them you would include them it works for me so this is just me sharing how i have been able to balance being a mom and a content creator flexibility and adaptability i am i can easily adapt adapt to the situation of things i am flexible it, it has really helped me even though i say structure there are sometimes that you have to go off script there are sometimes that it's not something that you already scripted that you end up doing because if you are too keen on structure and that you might just really get overwhelmed so sometimes just go off script just do what you need to do like this video that i'm actually doing now it is not scripted i did not make any scripts for this video i just said to film it because yeah I realized that when I was not feeling like filming this morning, I realized that I'm going to put myself in a tight spot because I know I have videos for next week. But what if I'm busy next week and I can't do for the upper week? Now that I'm actually less busy, just sit down and film something. So be flexible and adapt to situations. And as a mom, you know that unforeseen circumstances can just come on. We're always ready. So yeah, in the long run, that might not actually be a balance, but we are not losing our mind while we are doing it. Because sincerely, I seriously do not believe that there is a balance. But if you have structures and you, and you put these things that i have stated in place to an extent you will do this flawlessly and everybody will be like how, how do you get it done how do you make it look so easy trust me it is not easy it is just the fact that you have some rules that you follow and when the rules don't work you are flexible and you can adapt to anything that is happening so you guys if you enjoyed watching this my very very unscripted video <laughs> please give this video a thumbs up like it share and all of those good stuff and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys